Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you keyword research for beginners or people that just want to get started, find it all a bit too confusing, not sure what to rank for and not sure which keywords to go for. So I'm actually going to show you a method that I use on pretty much every site that I build just to get an idea of the buying keywords and the best keywords to go for even without using a keyword tool. Now keyword tools are fantastic for more keywords, they're fantastic to check competition quickly and I, of course you need to use a keyword tool but before any of that when I get to the stage with a site where it's time to add keywords this is exactly how to do it and it will help you if you're struggling with your sites and you want to see how to do it it will give you a step by step exactly how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you a site that I'm working on now as a case study and what it begins to look like even before you put keywords on it so so the way I to explain that the way I actually build a site is I add all the product reviews in and then I do my keywords which I'm going to show you in this video and then it works really really well because you can interlink the product reviews back to the keywords if you're watching this video and you want to have a site built for you do check out the link below as well I won't go on about this but check out the link it will take you through to this page you can watch the video I've got one spot left and I just decided to open up a bit of time on the timer so there's two days on the timer and there's one spot if you want to get a huge discount it's already discounted if you enter special on the coupon code box you'll get a further discount and you'll be able to get a site set up for you properly SEO and interlinking the niche picked for you or you if you have a niche we can use that but I'll normally pick the niche for you logo and background menu setup done so you can get this stuff done properly um, if that's of interest to you do check it out in the description the the links below it will take you through to this page check out the video and just remember that when you go through to the checkout page if you enter special in the coupon code box click apply you'll get a further discount so that's a really really great deal especially for the amount of content five pieces of content three thousand words per page and the 14 days to profit coaching to go with it to show you how to build up your site so do check that out because it's very limited there's one spot available with the discount so you can still get in but if you're going to get in you might as well get in for the discount and just remember to enter special on the coupon code box the links below okay so here we go let me show you how to do keyword research really really briefly and a way that will work very very effectively but before I do that I just want to show you that the site this case study site I just wanted to show you it's a real site I also wanted to cover really briefly if you're ever worried about it takes too long to rank all of this stuff takes too long this site has nine pieces of content on and I'll just show you okay so this is the stats over a thousand people have seen it on Google that's real people seeing it on Google it's had 30 clicks from the search engines um, it's got a few first page positions it's starting to move up again I'm not looking for it to do wonders or anything I at the minute with that amount of content but I'm shortly going to add keywords to it in the way that I'm going to show you now like in this video and I just want to show you that it doesn't take ages and ages with this stuff it's just good content you do need to know SEO you do need to know how to lay it out and have it all on so do treat yourself to a site invest in a site through the link below if you just want to get a head start and be able to get a site that you can add to and and get this stuff done properly that would be really really beneficial for you but I just want to show that even on the new tool that they give you here it's not showing up now but they do a new tool where they show you a site overview and um, it is it's even showing you know it's, it's getting picked up this is still got to filter in because it's saying you've got seven clicks I don't know what the time schedule is for this whether it's a week and so on I'll oh, pass 28 days so it's still actually got to schedule in all of this stuff but you can see it's actually ranking it's got a click coming in from Google average position 17.4 so for a nine page site that's all you're looking for you're just looking for um, I'm not even worried about sales on a nine page site 
but it has made sales and it's getting picked up for some good terms and that's a real site so I'll just show you that but let's get on to the, the, the stuff with the keywords so I've got a few more product reviews to add to this site but what the very first thing I do for keywords that I can actually rank for is this you don't need to have masses and masses of keywords because especially when you're starting you want to make money that's the whole purpose so maybe if you're going to grow a huge authority site and you've got lots of writers working for you but when you're doing this yourself what you want to have first is buying keywords so there's a couple of things I do two main things okay so the very first thing I do just to have a look at this is I go to Amazon and I actually start typing in zero term mower in this case or the niche okay so I might type in lawn mowers next but I'm really looking for an idea these these are other searches that people have done on Amazon so there's people looking for this stuff on Amazon I'm not worried about numbers or anything just yet I just want to have an idea of other things that people are typing in so I can form keywords out of it okay if there's a lot of people looking for a zero term mower lift jack I can easily add to my site um, information about lift jacks and the best ones to go for and it will be a e really really good easy ranking um, area another example of this I've just typed in a more a popular term like lawn mower for men lawn mower for small yards lawn mower for women lawn mower for kids well, that'll be a toy but you can start to see the things that people type in so I have a quick look at that it takes me no more than five minutes and see if anything really stands out in the niche and then what I do this is a really cool thing here we go the next thing I do which will give you far more results is I go to Google itself and I do the same thing I start to type in the, my main root phrase if you will zero turn mowers and I see what people are typing in because what you can do is you can see all sorts of um, phrases come up like zero turn mulching mower okay so if you are in a competitive niche and you're not sure that you can rank you might be able to rank for zero turn mulching mower someone looking for that you always see the brands come up so I always tend to put on my sites um, top 10 for the brands and so on I wouldn't even class them as keyword articles as much as have the brands on there and that works really really well but you've, you've got all of this stuff come come up and then I also do zero term mower four and uh, you can see here for heels and if I go here what you want to do is you want to start looking up usage okay because not only is it easier to rank for but you can see here right at the top the seven best zero term mowers for heels of 2021 January 26 best zero term mower for heels so these are all review sites so if they're there the chances are you can rank too and that's what people buy for okay these are the sort of things that they're looking at zero turn mower for heels and you can see the other stuff that comes up commercial stuff you can say for hilly acres um, you can also go for stuff like mower for three acres five acres small lawn large garden rough terrain so these are all things that people would look for with a zero turn mower as well and then you've also got riding mower for one acre rough terrain and these are all for small yard okay so um, best zero turn mower for small yard that would go hand in hand because of the way a zero turn mower works so what you want to do is is instead of going and getting loads and loads of keywords and checking competition straight away what I would do is follow suit on this and have a look because not only are these real buying terms but if you start adding really good articles on this so if you do like riding mower for small yard and you t the other thing you can do is you can check out on Google these are the top questions okay people also ask so these are questions related to what I've just typed in so best riding mower for a small yard and you've even got someone it is a review site answering it um, what is the smallest size riding lawn mower um, what is the best cheap riding lawn mower does a half an acre need a riding mower and so on okay and then the different brands that you can link to 
and the reason that works so well is by the time you've got your product reviews on there you've got your showcasing of your top 10 brands all the main brands you can link back to the brands you can link back to the products and by the time you've got a good few of these keyword terms like small yard best riding mower for hills and so on or or not just best either you can have like um best low maintenance riding mower stuff like that it even without a keyword tool you can see straight away cheap small riding mower you can see that that's what people will buy for so main thing i'm trying to impart is this people when they're serious about buying something will buy for a reason okay yes they want a riding mower in this case but they will also buy for heels or they buy for a small yard there's a reason that they want a particular not everyone will buy the same riding mower. a bit like buying a car not everyone's looking for the same things so if you can have a look what people why they buy a zero turn mower and some of the questions that they ask you could also reverse engineer it and look at a few buying guides out there and then look at the questions that are being answered and use that as your base of your keywords to start it will do really really well and that's even before you check competition or anything like that and then when you start to put the larger more competitive terms on your site you've got so much content to be able to link back to and you'll do really really well so I'll keep you um, informed with the progress of this one because it's starting to do okay and it's not that big a site so I'll keep you up to date with that and how it's ranking and so on and if you just want to get a site that actually works a real Amazon affiliate site that will work do check that out one spot with the discount um, and you get the coaching as well step-by-step -step coaching 14 days to profit do check it out um, just remember to enter the on the coupon code box remember to enter special and you will get the discount like that okay remember to click apply and it will put the discount one spot with the discount thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that if you got something from it and i'll speak to you really soon cheers guys